Ever wonder how to store meats properly in your refrigerator? Well, if you didn't know, the shelf just above your crisper drawers, which is going to be your bottom shelf of your refrigerator, is going to be the coldest part of your fridge. That's where you want to keep your meats. Um, it's going to keep them fresher longer and give you an ultimately better taste and better flavor. Now, when you have various different meats, such as I have here, I have a beef ribeye and I have a chicken breast. The easy way to think about it is how do you eat your meats? You're always going to eat your chicken well done. We want to cook all the salmonella and any bad things out of it. That's going to go on the bottom. You don't really ever want to put anything below chicken. If you can at all store it separately, that's going to really be your best option because that's going to reduce any risk of cross-contamination. Now when you get home these packages from the grocery store, there is a chance that they're going to have some extra juices in it and you don't want those to leak out. So what you want to do is either take a plate and set the meats on the plate and that way nothing's going to leak down into the bottom part of your fridge or leak from one meat to the other. And then along with that, or separately, you can take them and put them into a zip top bag keeping it in the refrigerator package so you just have, or in the, the grocery store package, you just have an extra guarantee. Seal it up and then you can stack your meat safely on that bottom shelf in your fridge keeping them nice and cold and avoiding any risk of cross-contamination.